Welcome to 12 News at 9. I'm Gary Burton Jr. Our top story tonight. Four people are dead after two separate shootings in the city of Jackson. One of the shootings took place on Bratton Street, where Jackson police are investigating a triple homicide. Three people, Jesse Bullock, James Bullock, and Colleen Bullock were all shot and killed. It happened around midnight, and right now we don't have any information about a potential suspect or motive. But if you know anything, Jackson police are asking for you to call Crime Stoppers. The other shooting took place on Dalton Street near the intersection with Winter Street. One woman, Antoinette Robinson, was shot and killed as well. Now it happened around 1030 Saturday night and Jackson police tell us that she was shot multiple times while sitting in her car. And right now as well, we don't have any suspect information or information on a possible motive. Six people were injured in a shooting at Bolton at a Bolton nightclub. It happened at the top flight nightclub at around 1 a.m. This morning, four men and two women were shot while in a car outside of the club. Now at least one of the victims is in critical condition and right now we don't have any information on a suspect or motive, but if you have information, please call Crime Stoppers. And Jackson police have arrested a man who was wanted for murder. Montrell Smith is charged with the 2020 murder of 15 year old Austin Green. Green was reported missing from his Byram home in August of 2020. The Terry High School student was body was found a month later with a gunshot wound to his head. And days after Jackson police arrested a man accused of killing three men in a house fire, a Jackson City Council member is speaking out on who else he feels need to be held accountable. Till of News Jalen Level talk with the councilman and Jalen, what you find out? Thank you, Jalen. More than 100 people are feared dead after historic tornadoes devastated at least five states in the South and Midwest. Here in Mississippi, one possible tornado touched down in Prentice County, but the strongest storms hit north of us in Kentucky, Arkansas, and Illinois. David Begno is at the center of the damage in a small city of Mayfield, Kentucky, where the desperate search for survivors continues. Now to the coronavirus and new information about the future of the COVID vaccines. This week, Pfizer CEO made headlines after he said a fourth dose may be needed to fight the Omicron variant. But former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb says those remarks were taken out of context and the fourth dose is likely only needed for immunocompromised people, such as organ transplant patients. However, Dr. Gottlieb also said that he believes the COVID vaccine could become an annual vaccine much like the flu shot, because over time the virus will continue to mutate. And right now, 50% of all Mississippians five years and older are fully vaccinated. That puts Mississippi 47th out of all 50 states when it comes to vaccination rates. One year ago, a brother, a sister, and an unborn child were killed in the Canton area, forcing the Hispanic Task Force to be born. And 12 News' Deidre Briscoe has more on the progress that's been made over the past year.